boom, we're here. Um, today, a lot of sticks. Um, today, I just want to do a quick video about winter water and trout. It's clearly winter, and I'm by the water. So there's the water. All around us is winter. So we're going to combine the two and find some winter trout water today. Behind me is kind of like your classic winter holding spot, slow and deep. You know, this is a freestone. Um, typically, you're not going to find fish feeding in shallow water. You're not going to find fish in the riffles. Um, you will sometimes find fish in riffles connected to a slow, deep hole. The structure behind me is man-made. Um, and this river is unique because it's, it is a freestone. It's got a bunch of hot springs on it. So I'm actually below the hot springs. Above the hot springs, it's ice. And below the hot springs, it's not ice. So the water is a little bit warmer. Trout are cold-blooded, so their metabolism is up. Um, we've picked up some fish today um, and just gonna walk you through you know, what you're looking for. And with winter water, you're gonna find yourself pretty much just fishing like the same thing. Uh, slow and deep. You know, slow deep runs connected to slow deep pools are also going to hold fish. The river that I'm fishing today really doesn't have that type of water. You can see, you know, behind me, this is all just man-made structure and it's created these really slow, really deep pools. With these man-made structures, it's going to be, you're going to see eddies like this one right here. So when fishing an eddy, especially this one, which I'm going to do in a second, I'm actually going to throw downstream, but I'm moving with the current. So the current's actually headed back upriver, and I'm going to set the hook upriver. Even though I'm setting upstream, I'm still setting with the current, if that makes sense. So the trout are actually facing downriver in this situation because they're facing into the eddy. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like, but you'll see a lot of this stuff in winter, especially if you're fishing in Colorado um, and you're fishing a lot of these, you know, man-made stream improvements. You're going to see a lot of eddies on the edges with the thaw wag or the main current shooting right down the middle. Another thing to consider with winter fishing is it's okay to be lazy. I mean, usually, and again, no always or never, but the trout are going to be in the absolute deepest, slowest part. Um, obviously, a lot of things can change that, but Try cherry picking the super obvious stuff first. So obviously we know that there's some trout behind us in this super slow deep hole. Let's walk up the river and try to identify the next piece of uh, winter holding water. And you could probably take a wild stab in the dark. It's going to be slow and deep and look a lot like this. So uh, let's go. Let's take a quest. Gonna be some hot pro tips in finding that winter water. All right, check this out. Too shallow. Too shallow, too shallow. Nope, uh, no trout here. I see a deep hole yonder, let's go. I refer to spots like this one behind me as an island. I call it an island because it's the deepest spot in this section um, from where we walked up to, to the next deep hole. So sometimes spots like this will hold fish. Uh, it's a little too shallow in this spot to hold fish. I ran some drifts through there and then nothing spooked out, but just something to pay attention to. You know, if this was a little bit deeper, I very well could have some fish in it. On the walk up from the hole where we started to this hole behind me, we didn't see any water really deeper than 30 inches. The hole where I pulled out fish was about four feet deep and that island was also at the deepest, maybe 30 inches. This hole behind me is the first piece of water that's deeper than three feet in this whole stretch. So we'll see if that's where the fish are and it's a great way to establish a pattern for winter holding water in a particular fishery. After fishing this run behind me and looking, the water still isn't deeper than about three feet. I'm gonna try this next pool. Um, and you know, I think it's kind of the sink source thing. The sink is where all the fish will go when they refuge and the source, are, you know, where the fish will spread out to. I think I might have that backwards. So fisheries biologists, please don't get mad at me. Looking at you, Ben. Um, but. Yeah, let's go see if this pool above is deeper and if we start plugging fish then we know and we've dialed in the pattern. Boom! Clearly no one's fished this before. Yeah, so just going one pool up from the pool behind me, it's way deeper here. It's, it's definitely four feet. It's, a, it's the most similar piece of water that we've seen to where we first started. So let's, uh, let's go fish and again, let's see if, if we patterned them. That's uh, finding holding water in the winter. Establish a game plan, stick to the script, 
single water type. What we did was we just established the trout we're holding in water about four feet or deeper, and we applied that pattern to the day. If I was gonna fish the rest of the day, I would just cherry pick that exact type of water. So I wouldn't fish any of the in-between stuff. I wouldn't fish any islands like I kind of showed you before, only four feet or deeper. And hopefully these tips, or this tip, will help you put some fish in the net this winter. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and maybe share it to somebody that's struggling this winter. This might help them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.